So there's this Chinese company called Xpeng Motors, and they're actually focused mainly on cars. You can see that they mainly focus on making electric vehicles, but recently they did something crazy. They actually had this AI day where they actually showcased a bunch of different technologies. You can see that they showcased off one of their new cars, something to do with one of their flying cars, a new insane incredible AI chip, and of course, they introduced something to do with their new humanoid robots. Now, what's really crazy is that many people are basically stating that this company is going to be a huge competitor to Tesla in the future. If we look at the company's offer, offerings that they have and we look at some of the offerings that Tesla has we can see that these companies operate in a very similar space electric vehicles humanoid robots and advanced technology now recently at the CI day one of the main things one of the main takeaways that most people were paying attention to was the fact that they announced a new humanoid robot that is just absolutely incredible so this humanoid robot is what they call iron now iron is a crazy robot because I'm not gonna lie guys this is something that looks remarkably professional and looks like it does the job now what's crazy about this is that this is a robot that they were working on for five years meaning that this is not something that they shortly put together due to the AI hype this is a company that has been dedicated and has been focused and will show you exactly what they're working on so I'm going to show you guys this short clip right now So you can see here that this is the robot that they are dubbing Iron. I'm not sure why they nicknamed it that, but I gotta be honest, it is a pretty cool nickname. Now the robot has several cool features that I think people ought to know about. So one of the things is that this robot is actually pretty tall. It stands at about five foot 10 inches tall and weighs around 70 kilograms. So this robot actually is pretty smooth in terms of its entire movement. One of the things about Iron that is shocking most people is that this robot has a total of 62 degrees of freedom. Now, if you're not really familiar with what degrees of freedom means, it basically refers to the independent number of movements that a robot can make and with 62 degrees of freedom it actually means that this robot is quite complex and it has human like motion now this is pretty impressive because it allows you know iron to move a lot more with agility and more precision than most robots that are currently existing on the market now another area where they've been able to really excel with this robot is of course the robot's hands in this short clip here you can see that the robot is able to flex how its hands moves and we can see that they actually have 15 degrees of freedom and it's designed to be very close in size and function to human hands which basically means that like you know this is going to be a robot that's going to be able to do a lot of the similar tasks that you see humans do humans have really really effective hands and it's able to use those hands to be able to do a variety of different tasks and that's why this company is currently taking the spotlight in terms of the world of humanoid robotics because so far when you work for five years on a product and then you unveil it you seem to be a lot further on than those that have just been on their first iteration so it seems like this is a company that clearly knows where they're headed and where they're going with their robotics. So it also shows as well by making sure that their hands are this complex and precise and agile that they want to do more than basic industrial work. They want to be able to perform detailed tasks with the same finesse as a human. Now, apparently as well, these hands actually come equipped with tactile feedback, which means that it's going to be able to handle different materials or even perform intricate assembly work and the fact that they went this route means that they are tackling some serious problems and it means that this robot is quite likely going to be applied to various different scenarios and not just the simple ones that most people are thinking of 
when we think about humanoid robots. Now, one of the things that was really crazy is that the robot in itself, like we actually get to see the CEO talk about the way how the robot walks. So in the short clip, you actually do get to see the robot walking. And one of the things that the CEO actually said in this short clip was he basically said that, look, a lot of robots, the way that they walk, they walk in a very strange way. This is something that a lot of us have realized for humanoid robots for quite some time. We look at these robots, we see the way they walk, and sometimes we're just dumbfounded, surprised. I mean, there's a variety of different ways to describe it, but this is something that yes, many people are wondering, why do humanoid robots walk? Now, of course, this is one of the problems that robotics has really faced recently, because of course, it is tremendously hard to get robots to have a human-like gait. But if you've been paying attention to the channel and to companies that are trying to challenge Tesla as their Optimus robot, you'll remember that a couple of days ago, I showed you guys this, which is of course the engine AI robot. And in this video, I showed you guys a robot that was able to have a perfect human-like gait. And this human-like gait was actually trained in simulation, which is something that a lot of robotics manufacturers are now starting to use. And if you don't know what that means, it basically allows them to speed up the rate of training the robot because they train it not in a physical environment that is messy, where you can fall the robot, you can have expensive mistakes, but they train it in a virtual environment where you can speed up time a thousand, two thousand times, ten thousand times even, and then you can kink iron out all the mistakes, iron out all the kinks, and then get a robot that is able to do exactly what you're seeing on screen. And it seems like, of course, this company Xpeng have also been working on the same issue with their own humanoid robot. Now it isn't the you know most perfect robot but it does look a lot better and a lot faster than some of the other companies that we have seen. So this kind of humanoid robot here it's clear that on their first iteration they've managed to do really well with how this humanoid robot looks, moves and walks in terms of its agility speed. And I can expect that in the future it's quite likely that this robot is going to get faster. Now one of the things and one of the recent trends that we've seen in robotics in humanoid robotics across many different companies is the fact that these companies are actually using these humanoid robots to excel at different tasks. Remember when we had the Tesla actually use their Tesla bot to load certain, I'm not sure if these batteries or cartridges for some kind of advanced technology, but we could see that the Tesla bot was being able to be used for certain tasks in the Tesla fact. We also saw the Ubitech Walker S robot being used on the production lines of these cars called the Neo cars. And this was something that was really fascinating as we got to see firsthand how these robots managed to perform in real world environments. We also got to see another robot, which was the figure robot, which is the figure two model, which looks absolutely cool and futuristic, being able to do a hundred autonomous neural network learned placement doing stuff in the factory. It was pretty crazy. I couldn't believe it the first time I saw it, but it was something that gave us a glimpse of insight into what they're going to be doing in the future. Self-correcting learned behavior, many different things that are useful for real world tasks. Now, of course, it wasn't just other companies that were doing this. Quietly in the shadows, this company was also working on this as well. You can see that they also managed to get their humanoid robot working in the factory on a variety of different tasks. If you look here, you can see that this robot is able to do a variety of different tasks that a human is likely to do as well. And it's able to walk around the factory and use its vision systems to be able to analyze exactly what's going on in a variety of different scenes. So this is the kind of demo that it wasn't shared that much on Twitter. But once I did see this, I did see a lot of positive responses from people because I'm guessing they understood the monumental achievement that this is. A lot of the times when you see many different humanoid robot startups come out, they're often quite slow and often quite clunky. And oftentimes they're not able to do certain tasks that you can see this current robot do. So this is one of those things where I'm seeing a robot that is actually able to perform certain tasks like drilling this in that I really haven't seen any other robot do. I, I really haven't seen any other robot manage to use tools just yet. But here, clearly, we can see that this company is being able to do that firsthand and it looks really effective. Now, one of the things I will say is that we don't get to see whether or not this is completely autonomous or not. We do see that this is just, of course, a video and you always have to do be, you know, somewhat skeptical of these videos because companies are running rampant with demos and, you know, trying to get people to invest more into their companies. But I would say that this is definitely something that does look really promising simply based on the agility of the robot and the kinds of things that we're hearing about the company. The fact that they've worked on this for so long clearly means that this is a robot that they haven't skimped out on. Of course, they could have deployed it at any time, but deploying it now means that they're probably ready to move on to the next stage. So it really is fascinating to see what these companies are doing. And one of the big questions I'm asking myself right now is what is going to be next for Xpeng? Is this next going to be the next Chinese Tesla? Are they truly going to take on Elon Musk? I mean, the company has been expanding globally. They've got an Xpeng Turing AI chip. 
They've got, you know, these AI robots. They've, of course, got these amazing electric cars. And the XPeng AI chips actually allow the AI to think, learn, remember in different ways that are actually similar to human cognition. Integrate reinforcement learning, which is a type of machine learning where the system improves its behavior based on feedback from its environment. And when you combine that with XPeng's end-to-end -end large AI model, it's actually something that's pretty autonomous. So what do you guys think is going to be coming next? When we think about the future of humanoid robotics, it is often seeming to be, you know, very, very futuristic. But this is something that, you know, is currently being being tried and tested in many EV factories, helping out in assembling components for vehicles like their upcoming XPeng P7. And so many companies make robots that never leave the lab or production, which means that these guys are clearly thinking that, you know what, this robot is advanced enough so that it can be used in these kind of environments. Now, another thing as well is that they haven't made it clear if this robot is available for consumers. But of course, the fact that they're using this in their own factories right now means that they see the value in their creation. And if there's anything you want to know about this company, don't forget to leave a comment down below and hopefully I see you guys in the next one.